And let's get another look at our weather this afternoon. Sunny and near record highs. Bill, it is so nice out there. Yeah, definitely. If you have time to get out today, definitely plan yourself some, some time to soak up the sun on the patio or maybe even just a nice little walk. Uh, I think you'll definitely enjoy it because we do have changes within the next 48 to 72 hours here in Kansas City. Let's start with our KB Complete City camera again on our tower there near 31st and Grand looking north towards the downtown buildings, Kansas City. Just looking fantastic for a uh, Wednesday in December. Again, these temperatures we're seeing right now look fantastic as well. Uh, the cloud cover that we've seen this morning has all moved out to the southeast, leaving us with these sunny conditions, and the sun will stick around for uh, the day today and most of tomorrow, I think. So we'll look live down here towards the Grandview Triangle. 61 out right now on our way to a forecasted high this afternoon of about 64. The record was set back in 1897, a 68 degrees, so I think that 123 year old record still going to be safe uh, this afternoon, but we're going to get up close to it 64 there by two or three o'clock this afternoon under sunny skies start to cool off towards the dinner hour and uh, that cooling trend will hang into uh, 10 o'clock 11 o'clock. So we get down to the 40s or 44. One cool thing that our family has done the last couple of nights with these clear skies conditions, you can go outside and watch the International Space Station fly over. There's another pass over tonight about 624. If you Google spot the station and I'll also post this on my social media profiles uh, website where you can go uh, track the International Space Station as it flies over. So about 624, 55 degrees might be a fun little thing to do to step outside and watch our space station fly over. Now, if you've been on the website, KCTV5.com or your Google or any other weather app you might have, you might see rain and snowflakes in the forecast for this weekend. So let's take some time and talk about that. With forecast track here, this is just one of the many models that we look at as we put together the forecast. Still a few days out on this, so keep that in mind as well. We're going to start Thursday evening, so tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, you can see some clouds here off to our northwest. Those will move in overnight Thursday. Rain moves in on Friday. I think Friday mostly is going to be a rain event and maybe up to a half inch, three quarters in an inch of rain. Saturday morning is when that low pressure system continues to move off to the east and to the northwest of that center is where we have some of the snow, the winter mix in uh, that type of precipitation. And that's what can start to move its way towards our neck of the woods here on Saturday afternoon. The good news is I think this is going to be more of a nuisance event for most of us within the 435 loop. Higher snow totals I think are going to fall up here towards our north St. Joe and uh, further north areas further north of them. Uh, our air temperature in Kansas City is forecasted to be at or above the freezing mark. So we could see some decent flakes on Saturday, but I just don't think they're going to stick to the ground for very long because I think it's just going to be too warm for them to stick around. So don't be surprised Saturday morning you get up and you see some snow falling. Uh, but again, I think it's going to be more of a nuisance than anything else. Security Bank seven day forecast again, beautiful for the next couple of days. Rain on Friday turning to snow on Saturday. 20% there on Sunday. Looks like we got a little bit more normal conditions returning to the area uh, towards the beginning of next week. Kelly?